What is going on guys, Spencer Clays here, and today we're gonna to be hitting the gym. I've gotten some requests about, you know, like what kind of workout styles I do, all that sort of stuff. And we are out here in Mexico, so a little bit different style than normal, but we're still gonna be getting after it, so let's go. Here we're at the gym, it's parked, so we're gonna mix up some pre-workout. This stuff is pretty good, the Alpha Lion. Um, I kind of made my own mix. It's got some extra beta alanine, extra creatine in it. Um, I don't know, it just gets really hopped up. I love to feel the ants like crawling all over my skin, so. Some chest today, maybe some squat as well. Do some arms, obviously, every day. Do some curls for the girls, so. Yeah, we can just go ten sides. <laughs> Freaking yoked. All right, yeah, we ran into some buddies at the gym. Always good to see some familiar faces. But you know, most of my workouts, I like ninety nine percent of the time, I'm working out alone. I usually just you know go after work or before work, and so I just kind of go get get a quick workout in. As far as my my philosophy here is, I mean, we're just we're warming up at this point right here, but. My whole thing is right now, I just train for intensity, so I really try and get short workouts. I usually prefer like 35 to 45 minutes long. After that, you're really just kind of like, you know, it's just unnecessary strain, unless you're really just, you know, you're not going as intense. But in my book, intensity is king, so the faster we can work out, the more reps we can get in. In a short amount of time, we're just going to be going to failure. Um, we're loading up the bar here, we're going to do like 315. I was originally going to do five sets of five, but um, after the first set, it was a little bit too much. I was like, nah, we'll just do... Do a little bit here. I like to squat, you know, every other day or so, or at least do deadlift, because um, usually, you know, I mean, legs are crucial. I mean, it's really important to train your legs, but sometimes it's not as much fun. But you still got to do it. So, let's see if we can get how many we get for three fifteen. Hit that for five reps, did a couple more sets of that, just about, I think I did two to three. Creeping in on the girlfriend here, of course. Doing a little bit of obliques here, a little bit of ab work. Just kind of, we're doing a little bit of full body. I didn't work out for the past couple days, so doing a little bit of everything. Getting after some quads right here. I did two sets of these till failure. So like I mentioned earlier, you want to be getting you know, about 12 reps is a good good amount. So put the weight up until you know about 12 reps is as much as you can do. So that's kind of how I like to train. You know, Two sets to failure is a great way. Um, that's kind of what Mike Menser taught back in the 80s and such. It's a great way, you know, really just stimulating the muscles. Now we're getting after the bench press. Definitely my favorite lift to do. I don't know, for some reason, I've just always been able to bench, like, a lot more than any of my other lifts. I mean, I can squat and, you know, deadlift, obviously, more than I can bench. But it just, I don't know, just something about it, I could just, just feels better. So getting that warm-up in, make sure you guys warm up, um, even if you've done it before. Like, I knew one guy, he was super strong. He didn't warm up well, and he was he was only benching like 275, but he tore his pec. It was really gnarly. So I'm going to see how much 315 feels today. Chasing after that four plates. We'll see soon. Keep you guys posted. Not bad. Hit it for four. I did a couple more sets of this. Such a three. Um, you know, just couple couple sets. Like that's all you guys got to do. Go to failure. Um, here doing a little bit of calves. Calves are another great one to do every day. Alex Hormozzi talks a bit about that. Just every day, just doing calves because they're one of the more stubborn muscles for some reason. For for some people, especially me, I'm kind of naturally a little bit like skinnier, taller. So my legs don't like to grow as much. So I got to train them a little bit more. This hack squat machine doing a little bit of different facing directions. Doing a little more chest pump right now. Did a couple sets of these until you know, about yeah about 12 to 15 reps. Yeah, the title of the video is you know working out for a dollar. This was basically just a full body get in. Um, we've been drinking the past couple days, so nothing too healthy. But want to get in. It was like 20 pace, 25 pesos I think. And yeah, getting getting after some biceps now too. So we did a French set, so like seven up top, 
and the seven down below and then seven full these are killer if you guys want to try these out they're great for you know building those biceps Getting some triceps in, some more biceps, just kind of feeling it out. Like when I'm back at home, I'll have a sort of workout program that I'm doing, you know, six weeks, 10 week program, um, certain split. But here when you're on your vacation, it's a little bit harder to schedule your workouts. So any workout that you can get in, just listen to your body. You know, a little bit of everything is never a bad thing to do. Girlfriend is doing 100 reps of biceps, so that's awesome. Ooh, and it is time to be that guy in the gym, of course. Um, we're down here in Mexico, so no one really gives a shit what you do. It's really awesome. Definitely great. Girlfriend is checking me out. What a weirdo. <laughs> but yeah, doing some shoulders, getting a little bit of that in. Just kind of just kind of feeling it out. Just just kind of picked up the weights and that's what happened. Picking up some of the heaviest weights they got. They only go up to like 65 pounds here, nothing crazy, but you do not need the nicest weights. You don't need the nicest gym. This gym was a dollar to work out in. So get after it. Like you can literally do any sort of workout. It's gonna be better than nothing. Girlfriend's over here doing abs. I personally don't train abs very often. I did a little bit of obliques earlier, but I don't really wanna get the strong man gut. So I really just try and stay lean. So, and if you're doing compound lifts, like you're not gonna have, you're not gonna have a problem with abs. Like it's just literally just body fat at that point. Like you can see, I'm just naturally a little bit thicker, so I gotta be, I mean, I don't wanna have that liver king gut just kind of protruding out, looks kind of weird, but aesthetics, aesthetics. Doing some last bit of triceps here, and then we're pretty much good to go. Right, guys that is pretty much it get in get out quick little workout i mean that was about 45 minutes you know training for that intensity let me know if you guys like this type of workout stuff i mean obviously we back to back to making money back to business as soon as we're off of vacation but meanwhile getting after it in all ways so see you guys in the next video boom